This is my sister's cover song on the radio. She's a super talented singer-songwriter. And to celebrate her music and also earn just a bunch of Big Brother points, I decided to surprise her with an extremely colorful and custom designed built-in guitar tuner. But before I explain how I did this, I need to sneak over to my parents' house to steal my sister's guitar. What are you doing with my guitar? Uh... She was actually super reluctant to give me her guitar, and I can't imagine why. Okay, so the plan is to use this entire roll of LED lights to color the inside of her guitar based on whether a string is flat, sharp, or in tune. For this to not ruin her guitar, it needs to be easily rechargeable. To accomplish this, I used a 5-volt external phone charging pack with USB plug-in. The brains for the tuner to work come from a custom Arduino circuit. And to maximize the color, I added metallic decals and brand new strings. Now there are many ways you can tune a guitar. For example, if I wanted, I could just record a string in super slow motion and count the number of vibrations within one second. Because my camera is recording at 240 frames per second, that's how many vibrations within 240 frames. This is known as the fundamental frequency of the string, and the amount of time for one vibration is called the period. When the low E string is in tune, it should have 82 periods in one second, or a frequency of 82. So in this case, the string is flat, and I would need to tighten the string and repeat the process. But nobody actually does it this way, because it's just way more convenient to record and interpret sound waves with a microphone than it is light waves with a camera. So when I pluck a guitar string, it bumps into the surrounding air molecules at the same frequency as its vibration. Those air molecules then bump into the ones beside them, creating a ripple effect that forms the sound wave. The sound wave for my voice right now, picked up with a microphone, looks like this. The sound wave for the low E string looks like this. And if you zoom in on the waveform, the measurement between each peak is a period of the frequency within the sound. The height of the wave is called the amplitude. And so if I sample a sound wave a bunch of times per second using an Arduino microprocessor, I can do some math to determine the distance between the peaks and can quickly calculate the fundamental frequency of the sound and use that information to change the lights inside the guitar. Which is just fundamentally really cool because it uses sound waves to create different colors of light waves that inform the guitar tuner how to adjust the sound waves until the guitar is totally tuned. You ready for your surprise? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Am I opening my eyes? Not yet. Oh. All right, open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. All right. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Try it out. So you like got rid of the wood completely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh my. Oh. Whoa. There's a lot going on in there. Pretty cool. If you want to learn more specifics like how to program a light strip to change color or how this circuit conserves power by using a button to only turn the tuner on for 60 seconds, check out the link in the description that breaks down all the juicy details. I make story motivated builds just like this every single month to empower your inner engineer. So if you're into that kind of thing, let me know by bumping the like button or hitting subscribe. Blue eyes crying in my